Welcome back to Afternoon Express. We're here on S3 to open up to the sea because from East Coast to West Coast, we at Mzansi are spoiled for choice when it comes to the jewels of the ocean. And now that we've seen how to clean a fish, our very own Jewel Lee <laughs> <laughs> is going to show us to fill it, it with ease. I mean, I don't know how Julie is going to manage to uh, make this look easy in the amount of time that we've got. But you've done this lots of times before. Do me. <laughs> I, I, I have to say, I have not ever filleted my own fish before. Neither have I. But I'm glad that we have Julie here who will actually give us all the tips and tricks on how to do it right. Mm. Let's go, Julie. Okay, so I'm going to just start again by taking the fins off okay. and the head off just to make it easy. We're filleting this lovely farmed cob. Yeah, yeah. I know that you said earlier on that the trick is to always take your time and be patient. Uh, but are there sort of like, you know, shortcuts when it comes to filleting a fish that you have uh, tapped into? Well, I'm going to show you something now. Mm -hmm. We're going to just make this first cut. We're going to cut it along the backbone here. Mm. And you just follow the, the bones of the fish. You can actually really, it's, you can feel them there. Mm. Then my little trick which my father taught me. Oops. Before you take that whole fillet off, turn the fish over. Okay. And then do the same on the other side. Okay. So the fish actually gives you the shape uh, that you need to cut. Because if you take that other fillet down, then the fish is lying flat. Oh, does that make sense? it makes sense. Yeah. yeah, it does make sense. So now again, I'm just um, following the bone. So I've cut it on both sides. Yeah. Which really almost sort of gives you like a die cut. It does guide you along. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Mm. So you take it to the backbone and then mm. you just slide your knife down Are the fillet. you able to, to... I think the viewers would be very okay. interested to see this. So you're just... sliding it around to the backbone mm. and then you just follow those belly bones so you can take the fillet off. Oh, okay. thanks. I mean, you've done that with precision. Yeah, except that little piece mm. there. <laughs> So, uh, also, you should have a more secure cutting board. <laughs> but, or uh, if you haven't got one, go. have it to me next Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we will hold or a, it for yeah, you. Yeah, or a tip, if your uh, cutting board is sliding, yeah. add a damp cloth under, yeah. underneath it, and oh, yeah? it actually secures your cutting board. Oh, so, wow. now I'm just going to take yeah. this. Uh, yeah, perfect. Mm. Thank you. Oh, there we go. There we go. It's cool. a master class, everybody. There we go. And listen, now, all of this will be available on afternoonexpress.co.za, the recipe included as well. So now you're going on the other side. Yeah, now I'm just taking the other fillet off, just sliding it away from the bone. And just for everyone attending this master class to see if you could just turn it ever so much. Oh, sure, sorry. Uh, so much. <laughs> there you go. So you just really follow the bone. You can hear how I'm following the bone. Take your time. And there you go. This. Oh, wow. Okay. That and looks effortless when you're watching it. I, I just gonna wonder how it's going to be I, when we And as someone as clumsy as I am, for example, <laughs> I mean, this would take a while. Well, uh, but I like that the bones do guide you. Yeah, mm. and you just take your time and follow the bone and try not to get too much waste, although we will use this for a soup or something. Okay, so I just want to check, right, you're using cob right now. Mm. Would the, the technique in terms of the steps to follow when filleting a fish would definitely be the same for every type of fish, right? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, the fish structure is the same for most types of fish. Uh, tuna would be pr pretty different. I mean, the tuna is going to be this Huge. big on your table. So you do it in chunks. Yeah, and then okay. the, um, the king clip and the hake are slightly different, but they... <laughs> You, the bone structure is slightly different, but you yeah. follow the bones. Okay. Basically. Okay. You follow Are you bones. able to take the skin off? Yes. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Let me I get mean, rid of all okay. of that. Okay. <laughs> Just like that. Awesome. Okay. So. Uh, what are the tips and, and, and tricks and hacks here? I'd like to show you two things if I could. Yeah. All right. But for a fillet like this, um, I'm just going to take that fin off. Mm -hmm. All right. This is quite a delicate fish, but we're going to cut it through like that. And then we're going to wiggle the skin rather than move the knife. So I'm pulling the skin off like that. Uh, it's quite a slippery as fish. You go. Yeah, so you're going to wiggle the skin. Like Would that. you then suggest for people to invest in a filleting knife just, you know, to make it easier, or would any type of knife work? Can I give that to you? <laughs> <laughs> I did say, have it to me, have it to me, everybody. So, um, you, you know, you've got to work with what you're comfortable with. Okay. So, um, you could invest in a fancy filleting knife, but whatever you're most comfortable okay. with. I want to show you one other thing sure. quickly. Yes, I'm pretty, no, not that one. I'm going to use this. This is an easy way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is an easy way to skin a piece of fish at home. 
uh, if you do it in pieces, I'm just going to put this there. Okay, so I've got a portion here. Okay. Now I'm just going to slide my knife down the middle of the fish and then just, oops. Ooh, oh, there you go. Wow. Beautiful. No bones and no skin. Is, that is convenient. <laughs> I like that, right? <laughs> And so easy, literally just slide yeah. like a knife through butter. Uh, yeah. And Julie, I mean, for me, it's always the thing about fish when it's not right, when the fish is off. How do you like know before you know? <laughs> well, let's rather talk about when the fish is fresh. <laughs> okay, let's start there. Let's start there. So um, it's got to have a good oceany smell. Um, you can see it's it's a little bit translucent. It's nice and firm. Mm. Um, yeah, the skin is um, bright mm. and well, this one, yeah, it's bright, shiny. Mm. Uh, it's, yeah, you can see on the tuna, it's, it's got a good colour. Yeah. yeah. It looks healthy. Okay, so now I can't wait uh, for Tumi to show us how to bring all of this to life. Stick around, we'll see you just now.